But to look at that there, it's painful to watch. What happened? I didn't understand the, the question. I didn't understand. Maybe it's because of I have a hearing problem, maybe because it's my second language, but I did not understand the question. And you know that in this kind of interviews that are not live, uh, mm -hmm. we have false starts. It may happen because of the journalist, or, and mm -hmm. so it happens to everyone uh, ev uh, in many times. But even so, if you um, so this is what happened. It, it certainly has been getting a lot of viewing on YouTube. And then you can read Canadians' reactions online when they see it. And one caught my attention particularly. He's so flustered by not understanding the question that I feel sorry for him. On the other hand, it proves that he doesn't have what it takes to be prime minister. It was one Canadian's perspective. Could this cost you the election? Well, I cannot believe it. Because, in fact, it happens to everyone that uh, in this kind of interviews we don't understand necessarily a question and we start again. And sometimes it's the journalist who, miss, who, is, who choose to ask the question differently. And there was an agreement that we were supposed to, the CTV was supposed to show the interview when it really starts, mm -hmm. not the false starts. I don't know why they decided to do otherwise. It's the first time it's happening. But so yesterday I had difficulty to understand the question. Uh, I think the question, uh, I wasn't sure about mm -hmm. the timing and so on.